Hello there everyone and welcome back to Empire Total War with the Russo-Turkish War Battle Series using the Russo-Turkish War Mod. Today we're back again at the Siege of Pleven and we're gonna specifically take a look at the Romanians actions out there. Not all of it of course but we're gonna take a look at some of it so we're gonna field an army entirely made up of Romanian troops trying to take on Redoubt at Pleven. So what we're gonna try and simulate the best we can is the Romanian 4th Division and their attack on the Redoubt of Grivica, if I pronounce that right. So they're gonna take on... They, in the actual battle they did quite a few attacks, I believe it was four attacks, and then they withstood three counterattacks from the Ottomans, but ultimately they held it. And this kind of is the la the sort of last frontal assaults that the Russian-Romanian force are going to try. The casualties are running so high in compared to what they're able to inflict on the Ottoman. So they're instead going to go for a more... They're going to kind of switch strategy here and go for more of a encirclement. A lot of the uh, in the casualties is because the Ottomans do have superior weapons and they do have the um, Winchester repeaters for defending troops in the garrison which it's not a very super powerful weapon but you do have the just able to put down the amount of fire from a single soldier which is very useful of course in defending at that kind of close range as large bodies of men are trying to charge in and take these redoubts with that said Let's go ahead and jump into the battle, shall we? And here the Turkish position lay before us. Now, we had already used the best redoubt map, so what are we gonna do for this one? We could, couldn't really find another map to uh, that actually facilitated in a good way, so what we did was we took a pretty hilly map and we built our own redoubt using the um, the sort of the these uh, obstacles that you can place before you actually start. Normally, in uh, you can only get these while dug in in the campaign. You get these uh, kind of trenches that you can build up to protect your troops. Quite useful in this mod, I must say, and it makes for quite the impressive defense, even though it may not look like it. So, it might not look like much of a redoubt, but it is actually pretty good, and it is the best we could do, given that there aren't a lot of maps, and there aren't ac an actual map of the uh, Grivica redoubt. With that said, let's go ahead and take a look at what the Romanians are up to. Because we've seen what the, the Ottomans are doing, and they're just sitting in the redoubt with one unit moving in to claim the high hill on his right there, which there's a risk of um, encirclement in uh, outmaneuvering the actual defensive position. So what I've got, as I am playing as a Romanian player, or playing as the Romanian faction here. I've got four units of light infantry. Three of which are moving up to take the front to attack assault here in the front of the enemy's position. And they've suffered heavy casualties due to artillery coming down from the hill. Now I said I had four. Where is the fourth? Well the fourth is actually over here. And in a clever ruse, I'm going to uh, annihilate this unit up here. Following, anyways, the light troops, we have a number of line infantry, which are actually split into groups of three. So we've got one here, which is supposed to kind of swing in from the flank. And then we've got two. One is going for the center, and one group is going for the forest with two units here as backup, and behind that I've got my two howitzers. We're using howitzers because the parrot guns are just so accurate and deadly that 
we decided against it. There's also some cavalry. This is my general. And then I have two additional cavalry units. So what needs to be said here is that I... And, well, well, when we played it, it crashed for us four times. So all the kind of um, secret maneuvering and kind of hidden units and stuff like that and trying to play a little bit like that it kind of came out into the open play after playing it four times. However, you can double back and kind of create a ruse out of that because of all those times I had cavalry situated here which moved up without um, the kind of d dismounted or charged at this side. This time around I decided to deploy light infantry instead. And the light infantry has slightly better range than the normal infantry which are up on the hill even with them being on the top of the hill. Uh, which should give them a little bit of extra range firing downhill. But he's expecting, and he's focusing on the front, so he's expecting it to be dismounted cavalry marching up, which of course only fires first line compared to this uh, light infantry unit, which is not only more accurate, a lot more accurate, but they're also able to fire so this unit's gonna be annihilated to this very last soldier before they get a proper shot off at the light infantry down there I believe if I remember they get like four or five kills but this entire unit is going to be annihilated by the light infantry so already they haven't been able to fire a single shot in return and at this point there's 40 men left, 38 and there's not a single one that has been able to fire back so here 18 men roughly are able to fire back and they kill 4 and before they're able to fire again the unit is down, now there's only 3, now there's only 1 and now they're gone with that the kind of opens up the flank because the light infantry have only suffered four casualties taken out an entire unit the buzzy bazooks that were moving up here were blocking my attack as I was explaining before we had three going towards the center three going to the forest three were gonna swing around and kinda come at this side being able to shoot in through the two first lines on the side now they were stopped by the buzzy bazook sitting here but I concentrated my artillery plus the risk of course of the advancing light infantrymen meant that he was forced to pull back from this which enables me to once again kind of set these guys up to be able to attack on the flank if we go back to the center we can see that there's very few of the light infantry of the three units that I sent forwards there's very few of them left. I'm surprised this one even has its officer left. Since it's only nine men. And I've been making very poor progress in actually taking the first line against the Ottoman light infantry. We can see there's quite a few of them still, given though how long this fight has been going on for by now and also how accurate and deadly the fire has been and the closer you get to the forest the more men are still there and he's got two units of buzzy bazooks situated in the forest and then there's uh, yes I send one line infantry forwards which is getting almost murdered it's being backed up from back here as well I'm targeting the forest now with all my artillery as well because, um, well, it's not going too well for the first unit. And I want to be able to flank through here at some point. I thought I had more units in reserve. So it's only these two, plus the one down here, which is uh, not doing too well. Not entirely sure why I formed them into square, but there you go, they're in square. The buzzy bazooks. Once discovered though, 
and even as they're uh, fighting the forest, it becomes quite easy picking for my artillery. At the same time, there's very few Ottoman light infantry left on the front line, or the first line, but they're still there. And my infantry have moved forward now to be able to join in with the light infantry to actually fire upon that. And uh, part of our line is now even engaging with the second line. More units are being brought up here. So at the same time as that is happening, the cavalry is now being moved up. It's uh, charging in against the buzzy bazooks. The the, what happened was the light infantry moved up before they were able to get into position to fire at the buzzy bazooks. They were able to charge in and melee charge and kill quite a lot of the light infantry. To save them, I sent in the cavalry. But the buzzy bazooks will actually hold out for quite some time against the cavalry. However, I am going to be able to get the light infantry out of there but they suffered quite a lot of casualties as we can see they're down to 156 men so that means they almost lost a hundred men in melee with the buzzy bazooks which are doing very well against the cavalry given that there's two units of cavalry but they didn't of course they're trying to charge uphill so they didn't really get that you know, the power out of the charge that kind of knocks troops about. At the same time, we got this line infantry now firing on the flank here against the Egyptian infantry. We got these troops firing towards the flank of the second line. And at this point, the first line is uh, empty. So the first part of the redoubt... Oh no, there's actually two guys here. One of which is, uh, oh, he was shell-shocked, now he's dead. He wasn't firing, and there goes the last one. So first line is now cleared. If we go into the forest, there's 19 Pazipazooks left in this unit. Heavy artillery has decimated their line. And there's only five guys over here. The thing is, though, because you're, when you're playing like this, multiplayer, you kind of um, moving all over the place trying to figure out. So sometimes you just briefly look over the position. And I could still see some fire. But it's easily mistaken at long range. The bodies lying down on the ground can easily be mistaken for units that are actually so, sort of active or there's a high number of troops there. So and plus the, the cannons were still firing over there. So I wasn't paying too much attention. But I could have definitely started pushing these guys a lot earlier. At the same time, we're moving some troops up towards the center. We can see two line infantry here. Both of which has been heavily mauled by the mortars up there. Or by the howitzers, the Ottoman howitzers. We got another round of shots coming in on this unit. Taking out loads. As these smaller units are now moving up to actually set up on the first line or behind it. And we're moving up these two fresh units. The two reserve units. At the same time, we've got a line infantry over here. Attacking. We're attacking all across the line. The light infantry is joining in. I've dismounted one of the cavalry units to join in. We've got an Egyptian line on the other side. Very heavy casualties on both sides. But it kind of starts to look like I am going to be victorious. Even though I didn't feel it at the time because I couldn't really zoom in and actually take a look at how low or how low the manpower were for the Ottoman troops. I just could see, oh, they're still firing, they're still holding this position and so on. Am I going to be able to push through? Probably not, and so and so on. We're starting to move up the troops here in the forest, so we're going to be able to flank, and I'm going to... I believe I bring up the general. He did fire a bit on the general with his artillery, taking out about 60 men. But the officers still survived. I'm going to bring them up, 
And I'm gonna set them on the hill, dismount them, and fire down. It could have possibly been better to just charge down. But at that point, victory was kind of assured, and I wanted to, you know, leave it a little bit. Like, I wanted to make it look cool <laughs> at that point. I was uh, not so concerned in absolutely destroying what was left of the Ottoman player. I think this is enemy artillery fire. I hope it's not my, because that took out quite a lot of my own troops here. Looks like the Ottoman artillery is firing over here. The artillery in this mod is so deadly. Absolutely destroying some of the troops here. One of the cavalry units over here from this side is now charging in to clear out the second line. So it's going in and taking out the smaller units here in front of the artillery. This could also have been, you know, possibly better to attack towards the last line, take out the artillery, but at this point, I, I kind of was looking for, you know, hmm, how am I going to make the most cinematic and cool movements as possible as I move through here? For some really cool intros and end screen views. Very heavy casualties once we stopped here, probably due to a lot of friendly fire, I imagine, from the flank here. But the cavalry did what they were supposed to. And they dislaunched everyone on this line here. Now, there's not a lot of my troops left. We still have 45 and then 136 over there. We've got a small light infantry of 5 men, followed by 1 by 12. And then 18 down here. One of the bigger units, 149 line infantry moving up. 227. This flank right here is moving up rather well and they've been able, sitting on the flank there, to fire in and clean off a lot of the artillery clue. <laughs> the artillery crew. Artillery clue? Um, a lot of it is also the snipers are actually, or the light infantry, are actually able... Where is he going? Where exactly is he going? So the artillery at this point, yeah, they're kind of done for. There's a single guy over here. He's not sure what to do. He'd probably rather surrender. Now, I dismounted my general and I was moving down to fire upon from the uphill here, firing down upon the enemy. But the um, Egyptian line infantry actually charged uphill and got us before we could uh, even open fire. The thing though is these guys were, yeah, the enemy was winded as they moved up and they were fighting against a cavalry unit, which I believe have higher melee stats. So they were able to kill off the Egyptian unit quite easy, you can see there's not a lot of cavalry units dead here. And at this point victory was very much assured. We only have about this guy left here, I believe, at this point. He's the only one to actually stand and fight. And I'm kind of surrounding him from all sides. We're going to send in this group of four infantrymen. He's going to fire on the general unit here. I can't remember if he actually killed anyone. Oh, he's missing. He's not really sure what to do here. Trying to shoot the general. Oh, here the guys come in. Managed to shoot one. Makes it a little bit of a more fair fight, but... Let's see. I can't remember if he actually managed to kill anyone in melee. He doesn't have a bayonet. It definitely... Isn't gonna work out for him. And there we go. 
victory, and we now hold the redoubt. Uh, there's one unit over here that's running away. I believe. Ah, oh, yes! This was his general! Let's see if we can find him. He should be right about here somewhere. I think I can see him. Here. His general did actually manage to get away. The last guy in that unit. I believe this was the artillery unit that actually was the general. So he did actually manage to get away. I don't know why he's running towards our lines though. Here we can see the numbers deployed. So out of 5,000 men, I lost 4,000. Comparatively, for the Ottomans, they deployed 4,600, losing 4,558. Um, compare the losses to what they killed. You could estimate that I killed about 1,500 of my own men. And if we do likewise for the Ottomans, we're looking about 1,200. But I think a lot of this is lost due to the way the artillery works. Because it definitely does not count all the kills for the artillery. The artillery accounted for a lot of kills. But they, as you can see here, there's no way the artillery, being as deadly as it is in this mod only killed 241 and the other one 170. There is simply no way. They definitely killed a lot more. We had one, this light infantry unit though, which I believe is the one that moved up on the left. We're able to kill almost 700 men out of uh, the unit of originally starting at 240. Being able to kill that many. Same we've got a line infantry being able to kill a lot. But then if we go down, there's a lot of units that get absolutely destroyed by enemy artillery without being able to do anything. We've got line infantry over here, entirely smoked out. Actually, two of them entirely smoked out. And they almost didn't even manage to make uh, over 10 kills. They made 11 together. If you count this one where three survived, I mean, the numbers... And, I mean, with such losses, you know that this is mostly artillery being able to do this. There's no way. I don't know how it works exactly, but that's... That's how it is. Anyways, this has been the redoubt. Uh, one of the redoubts. At uh, Pleven, or Plevna, if you want. We showcase the Romanians. And, uh, yeah. With that said, I say as I always say, hopefully you guys enjoy this, and hopefully I'll see you guys for the next one. Bye.